Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and Heather Top Stories. We are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 4th of October. Amid India Canada row, Ottawa says not looking to escalate situation. Pakistan orders illegal Afghans to leave or face expulsion. And Sri Lankan president rejects international probe into Easter bombings. And offer all the details. Amid the tussle between Ottawa and New Delhi, Canadian Foreign Minister Milani Jolly on Tuesday said Canada wants private talks with India to resolve the diplomatic dispute. Responding to reports of India asking Ottawa to withdraw 41 diplomats from Canadian mission in New Delhi, Jolly said if it's important to have diplomatic footprint on ground and added that diplomatic conversations are best when they remain private. The comments come hours after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau made a similar statement calling for de-escalation of the diplomatic tension. The ties between India and Canada have nosedived since last month after Trudeau linked India to the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India has termed the allegation as absurd and motivated. Heavy rain hampered the search for 23 Indian troops reportedly missing on Wednesday after a flash flood caused by a cloudburst occurred in India's northeastern Sikkim state, with the capital city of Kangtok cut off by road, officials said. About 15,000 people living in the Wind City are likely to be affected and at least eight major bridges have been washed away along the banks of the Tista River. Some army bases and facilities along the valley are affected and rising water submerged vehicles following the release of water from a dam. The weather department has warned of landslides and disruptions to flights as heavy rain is predicted in some parts of Sikkim. अभी तक तो थोड़ा बिल्डिंग वगैरह डैमेज हुआ है प्रॉपर्टी डैमेज हुआ है और लगता है कुछ लोगों का भी वहाँ पर गुम सुधाया है अभी उसका रिकॉर्ड रिपोर्ट बाकी है और डीसी लोग जो उसका भी कामेंट मशीन में लेते हैं वो काम कर रहे हैं Pakistan has ordered all illegal immigrants, including 1.73 million Afghan nationals, to leave the country by 1st of November or face expulsion after revealing that 14 of 24 suicide bombings in the country this year were carried out by Afghan nationals. Islamabad's announcement marks a new low in its relations with Kabul that deteriorated after border clashes last month. Interior Minister Sarfaraz Bukhti said there are no two opinions that we are attacked from within Afghanistan and Afghan nationals are involved in attack on us. In the latest, Taliban spokesperson said Afghan refugees are not involved in Pakistan's security problems and urged Islamabad to reconsider the move. This comes after two suicide bombings targeted religious gatherings in Pakistan last week, killing at least 57 people. The Pakistan Taliban militant group has denied involvement. Bukti, however, said that one of the suicide bombers had been identified as Afghan national. A political activist from POK raised the issue of wheat crisis and inflated power bills and growing unrest in the occupied region as he made intervention at UNHRC in Geneva. A report. Chairman of National Equality Party, JKGBL, Professor Sajjad Raja highlighted the growing unrest over wheat crisis and inflated power bills in POK and Gilgit Baltistan during the UNHRC session. He said currently the people of the occupied territories are protesting by shutting down cities and continuous sit-in protests have been taking place over unfair taxes being imposed on them, while they continue to suffer power outages and zero development by the Pakistani state. People are demanding that Pakistan provide them with wheat flour to live on, but Pakistan pays no attention to our demands. Mr. President, POJK produces electricity at the cost of 2.03 rupees per unit, but this electricity is sold back to us for 50 to 80 rupees per unit. Our need is only 400 megawatt in POJK, and despite producing over 2,000 megawatt electricity, we are subjected to load shedding for over 16 hours a day. We also lack 
any economic and physical infrastructure and employment opportunities. Under these conditions, our people are unable to survive and are fleeing out of POJK. We the activist urged the international community to intervene and expel Pakistan from the region as required by the UN resolutions. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and US President Joe Biden discussed about importance of improving bilateral relations, a top US official informed on Tuesday. Answering a question on Bangladesh-US ties, the White House President senior official John Kirby said the two leaders in their engagements on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Delhi held talks over a range of issues including the importance of free and fair elections in Bangladesh. Sheikh Hasina's administration has been under target by Western countries which have raised concerns on electoral process and crackdown by the government on dissent and critics. The United States has also implemented a new visa policy restricting the entry of Bangladeshi nationals who undermine elections in their home country. Sri Lankan President Ranil Vikramasinghe has ruled out having an international aided independent probe into the 2019 Easter bombings and has slammed the Western media for its double standards. The president's office on Twitter informed that he told a German broadcaster that Sri Lanka will not have any international inquiry and said Western governments had themselves not allowed any international inquiries when acquisitions were made against them. Vikramasinghe had earlier pledged to appoint a parliamentary select committee to investigate allegations levelled by a British channel that the whole attack was a conspiracy. Nine suicide bombers belonging to the local Islamist extremist group carried out a series of devastating blasts that tore through three Catholic churches and three luxury hotels in 2019, killing nearly 270 people. The robot-like structures in the ways to wander park in India's Chandigarh have become a centre of attraction for visitors. The creator behind the art installation says the aim is to promote upcycling. The humanoid sculptures in the Ways to Wonder Park in India's Chandigarh have become a centre of attraction for visitors to the city. Industrialist come metal artist Prithpal Singh, better known as Polly Singh, has put his out-of-the-box creativity using iron sheets, rods, fans and automobile parts to carve out these metal scrap sculptures which resemble the robots in the Hollywood series Transformers. He calls his creation Polybots. Singh says his aim is to promote upcycling and inspire the young generation to come out with new ideas. Bas basically, the message is that you promote upcycling, imagination, and promote karo. Bachon ko, uh, bachon ko ek skill set provide skill set parents, teachers, schools, or government so that they can explore many things. जैसे कोई भी नई चीज वो एक्सप्लोर करेंगे तो वो डेफिनेटली कुछ नई चीज ही बनाएंगे। पॉली सिंह आल्सो शेयर्स हिज नॉलेज विद द यंगस्टर्स थ्रू वर्कशॉप्स एंड वेरियस प्रोग्राम्स। दिस अमेजिंग इनिशिएटिव्स हैव अट्रैक्टेड अ लॉट ऑफ अटेंशन फ्रॉम द पीपल ऑफ चंडीगढ़ एंड अक्रॉस द कंट्री। दैट्स ऑल इन टुनाइट्स एडिशन। वी विल सी यू सेम टाइम टुमारो। गुड नाइट। Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.